RPCS3 is a free and open source video game console emulator in debugger for the Sony PlayStation 3 that runs on Windows, Linux, FreeBSD, and macOS operating systems, allowing PlayStation 3 games and software to be played and debugged on a personal computer. So today I'm going to show you how to set up the RPCS3 emulator on Chromebook. Let's get into this. So you have to head on to this site called flathub.org. There's tons of apps to choose from and install. Even apps that are not compatible with your Chromebook. Now before you install RPCS3, you have to go to the process of setting up Flatpak. Now choose the Chrome OS one. You have to go to the process of enabling Linux. After that, you have to use Crush. All you have to do is press on your keyboard, Control Alt T. After that, Copy and paste all the commands that are grouped into these sections. So install Flatpak 1 is going to be for your main Linux PowerShell, along with the other ones down below, which is pre installed on your Chromebook once you have had Linux enabled. After this progress is finished, restart your Chromebook. And after that, you will be ready to go. Now you can just head back to the home menu, click on RPCS3, click install, and this is the name of the file shown on the screen. Copy and paste these commands into the terminal. So when you're done, the RPCS3 application would pop out of nowhere and you will be granted with its quick start guide policies and you would have to agree with them in order to continue onto the app. A PlayStation 3 emulator like RPCS3 when it runs solid on a Chromebook. Why? Because of the games and not only the games, of course. It's the hardware of the Chromebooks. They have very limited graphic cards and probably some other issues as well. Other reasons I would think of this is because of the games and how many chunks they take, how many assets they have, how many material that's in the game. Like if it's a 3D game, 3D games are known for open world, atmospheres, maps, locations, places, everywhere time it takes for them to make those games probably or should take hours upon hours to make. And those games are made on computers that were used to make it for console of hard architecture that's very complex for its time of release and that is electronically or powerfully ahead of its generation. There was a time where I loaded up Shakedown Hawaii, a 2019 action shooter game based on GTA on the Amway. It ran very decent, but it didn't run flawless. I also tried Goat Simulator and plenty of other games as well. Some worked, some didn't. Now, 2D games would run better than 3D games on the RPCS3 emulator. They don't include too much chunk. They're 18-bit-ish. They don't have that much elements or much material to make it harder to play or emulate in general. And other stuff as a result of that. Not to mention, you will need to add the PlayStation 3's firmware. Now, you would have to double click on the download PlayStation 3 update button. 
then there will be the save as option that will show up click save link as and the file will be playstation 3 update dot pop it will show something like that now what you will need to do here is to keep the file then you would have to cut the file and paste it to your Linux files go back to the PlayStation 3 emulator RPCS3 click add firmware and you will be done now we can add the games I'm going to show you how to add the ROMs. This is a option if you want to dump it or get it from websites. Me personally, I get it from websites like No Pay Station, Vim's Lair. If you like that, you can go get games from there and some other sites. So, I'm going to use No Pay Station, and that's the way I'm going to show you to get the ROMs. Now this is the site. You go on the PlayStation 3 one. Type in a game that you might like. Example Rogue Legacy is mine that I want. Download the pkg and wrap file it is easy to download the wrap file already installed it which is the reason why there's one um, but for pkg it won't really work so you would have to use this pkg url and you have to Click on go to HTTP Zeus.dl.pastage and boom, it downloaded it. It's now downloading. Wait until it's done, and I will show you how to add it to the RPCS 3M later. Now, after that, just put it in your Linux files here. You should open up RPCS3. Click right here. Now, it may not show the folders, application, and this in its container, I can say. But um, yeah, I have my rep file and my PKG file. So it should show up just right there. And then boom that's it and all you got to do is if you would like add a custom configuration you can mess around with the settings if you want to I'm just gonna put it on OpenGL since that's what works with my device the most and that is it you're done so that gotta be it for today 
If you liked this video of RPCS3, you can like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. It's all your choice. As of next time, Metro.